Hello everyone, my name is Don Balance and I'm the Director of Training here at New Tech and I'd like to welcome you to this Get Started Training video for the 3Play 425. 3Play 425 is a six channel instant replay and slow motion system. It allows you to bring in and record up to four live video sources with audio in a variety of formats and resolutions all in the same production. It also features two independent outputs. You can easily create events which can be viewed from multiple camera angles and at variable speeds. You can play out of one of the outputs while setting up the other one or you can use them both together. You can also use the playlist to create melts or highlight reels quickly with dissolves between each of the replays and a music bed. It also allows you to export clips or the highlight reels that you've created in a variety of formats once the production is done. When you open the box, you'll find the 425 unit itself. This is the black 2U rack mount device. You'll also find the CS or control surface for operating the 3Play 425. You'll have a keyboard and a mouse as well as a power cable and a USB cable. Let's go ahead and take a look at hooking up the hardware. On the back of the 3Play, you'll find the power connector. Plug in your power cord here and then plug it into AC power. You also find a variety of USB connections. This is where you'll connect the keyboard, the mouse, and the control surface. You also have a gigabit ethernet port allowing you to connect the 3Play to a network. Next you have a video card with two connections on it, a DVI connector and an HDMI connector. The DVI connector is the main interface out for the 3Play 425. Connect your main interface monitor to this DVI port. The HDMI connector is used for the multi-view out of the 3Play 425. So connect a second monitor via HDMI to this port for the multi-viewer. Next you have your video ins. There are four rows of video inputs. Each one is comprised of an SDI input and an analog input. When working with high definition you can come in as SDI or component when working in standard definition, you can come in as SDI, Component, Composite, or YC. You also have two video outputs, rows 1 and 2. Row 1 is video output A, and row 2 is video output B from the 3Play. The outputs are also comprised of SDI and analog out. There's another video output in the HDMI port, and this is a switched output. Depending upon what output you have selected on the control surface, either output A or output B, the output that is selected on the control surface is what will be output this HDMI port. This allows the 3Play operator to switch from output A to output B out of one output from the back of the 3Play. Now this network connector can also be used if you're using a TriCaster as the switcher. Any high definition TriCaster running Rev4 software or later will allow you to bring both of the independent outputs of a 3Play 425 or 820 directly into the TriCaster through the network inputs. This means you still have all the live video inputs available in your switcher and you're bringing your instant replay outputs from the 3Play in through the network inputs of the TriCaster across the Ethernet cable. Next we have our audio input and there are four stereo pairs of audio input, both XLR and quarter inch jacks. You could also bring audio in as an embedded audio signal on the SDI video signal. There are also audio outputs. You have one A and B and two A and B as well as a headphone jack. And you do also have the ability to output the audio via embedded SDI audio as well. You also have a GenLock area allowing you to input and pass through a GenLock signal to sync the 3Play. And there are a variety of connectors on the back of the 3Play device that we will not use. We will not use any of these ports. We will not use the sound card ports on the back of the device. And you will also not use the tally connector on the back of the 3Play. To access the front of the device, you want to open the right side door and once you've opened that door, you'll see a power switch to turn the device on and off, as well as a reset button. And this is where you also have access to the removable drive bay available in the 3Play 425. 
Once you have all of the audio and video inputs and outputs connected, your monitors, keyboard, mouse, and control surface, you're ready to go ahead and power the system up.